everyone, Camille here from 88 Fitness Training. Thanks for tuning in every Monday and Friday for those bodybuilding tips. So we had a question on the feed kind of to go through the differences of exercises on the hyperextension bench um, from training back to training glutes and hamstrings and then why some people are turned sideways on there. All right, so let's start by how to set it up properly. So if you're doing some type of hyperextension, it's gonna be really important that this hip pad is right below your hip flexors. And so I'll just start by saying, if you're at one of the height extremes, super short, super tall, this uh, particular piece of equipment might be a challenge for you, and it might be easier just to go ahead and do something different. But so there's usually an adjustment, there's a knob here, and so you can pull that out and pull this up and down. So I'll just show you, like I'm short, so I would never do it here because I can't actually bend over properly. It's above my hip flexors towards my waist. So for me at my height, I'm gonna put this all the way down, put my feet up against this back uh, area of the foot pad, and now my hip flexors are right above this pad. So I can go down, stretch, come up, squeeze, just like that. All right, now if we are training for hamstrings and glutes, when you come up, you're gonna want to lead with your back. Your shoulders should never get up to a straight flat back before the rest of your back. So a good way to do this is to have a slight round in your back. Come up till you're straight and squeeze. So down the bottom, you're gonna feel that stretch in the hamstrings. You're gonna to wanna to tense your muscles. Come up and squeeze. You should not be up like this. That's just gonna to lead to injury, nice flat back. Again, if you slightly round, it helps to focus that load in the hamstrings and glutes. All right, so that's one way to use this. The second way would be if you're trying to train those erectors on your back, using it for a back exercise. One of the common mistakes, again, people feel like they have to have a super arch, like this. That's gonna lead to injury, so don't do that for sure. Again, you're just coming up with a nice, flat, neutral back, and then stop. You're really gonna to wanna to test those erectors as you come up, just like that. All right, so again, be careful with that one. There's probably better exercises that you can do to hit those erectors, like deadlifts. Same with the glutes and the hamstrings. So definitely choose wisely. All right, the last thing you see people do, they're sideways on here, like so. And they're working obliques, that's what this is for. I personally don't like it. I think there's more effective exercises. I also feel like if you train obliques too much, you grow wider instead of getting that elongated tone six pack that you're looking for. But again, it's all in preference. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. That's three different ways to properly use the 45 degree hyperextension. Thanks for tuning in. Camille, 88 Fitness Training.